Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. We have someone who really understands what it is to work in a senior community. And it's not easy, but when you work at something like Imperial Club, it's easy because it's beautiful. It's like living in a mansion, actually. People don't understand until they go there and they see it. And so it's Tina Borges Druff, and she is really the marketing director. And when you're the marketing director, you know everything going on. So thanks for being here, Thank you Tina. for having me. Marketing is very, very big when you're in a senior community because it's not casual, right? Yes. A lot of people are brought in kicking and screaming by their families, but once they come to the Imperial Club, which is just gorgeous, they wonder, well, what are they? I can't afford it, the first thing they say, right? I know I've heard this before. I can't afford it. Yes, you can afford it. You just don't understand what you're, what you're getting into. You're, you don't want to live at home anymore. You really need to be where everybody else is. So tell me what you tell them when they come. That we are an all-inclusive community. That means that three meals a day are provided in our dining room, as well as activities from morning till uh, into the early evening. Um, and transportation within five to seven miles of the community. We take them shopping, we take them to doctor's appointments. Every Friday, our activities director plans an off-campus off, um, activity. They'll go to the casino, they'll go to, they went to a chocolate factory, they go to the flea market, museum. I mean, they just do a whole array of things. We keep our seniors active um, and vibrant. And Aventura is a splendid place. I've been working with think people in Aventura for many years as I started to tell you that I really grew up in Miami Beach and my grandmother lived in a high rise many, many years ago, probably in the 50s. She lived to be 95 and I don't think she would have lived that long if she had tried to live in one of her, in an apartment. And I always attribute it to having care. Now it wasn't like yours, it wasn't that fancy, but what they did is they did have a few activities they did care about people but Imperial Club is like the diamond it's at the very top yes it is it's like a family um, with the residents they get a lot of socialization and that's really a big cause of elderly people um, falling or you know getting lonely they don't have that socialization that outlet every day they can get up for breakfast and they don't have to go back to their apartment till six seven at night if they don't want to there's always something for them to do at imperial club so the people who live there tell us give us kind of some profiles of who they are what they like what they don't like it's uh, people don't really understand what goes on in those communities so we are a 55 plus community um we have independent living which means you are renting your own apartment you come and go as you want, you can drop. Can uh, a lot of our residents still drive? Um, there's parking at the community. They can pick and choose which activities they want to participate in. We do um, yoga. We do exercise classes. We do book clubs. We do movies. We bring in entertainers almost every day. Uh, we had a ballet dancer, a toe dancer there a couple weeks ago. We bring in. Um, piano players, violin players, sometimes kids from the local school will come and entertain the residents. We do mahjong, we do poker, we do beating. Sounds like you'd like to live there. I mean, you're really enjoying this. I can see that. Um, there's just so many things to do. We also have the JCC, which isn't too far away. We bring a lot of our residents over there if they want to get uh, exercise classes or swimming classes in, um, pottery. The JCC has a a lot of activities for the seniors to do. Tell us, you know, with your marketing hat on, what objections do you have to um, overcome? A lot of people do come kicking and screaming. They know that they need to now be somewhere where there's support for them in case they fall, in case they need to run an errand, they're probably not driving anymore and you know really making them feel comfortable that this is going to be a home for them it's not just renting an apartment it's it's a community and you've got the support that you need from everybody that works at imperial club and so once someone decides that they're going to live there what what are the different types of homes that they can 
get into? So we have uh, in mostly independent living apartments, and then we do have a small portion of assisted living apartments. The assisted living apartments means that there is um, a nurse, an RN on staff, as well as aides who will check on the resident every two hours. They'll help them with bathing, um, changing, remind them of meals, uh, take them to activities if they have trouble getting there themselves. And then for the independent portion of the residents, they just come and go like it's an, an apartment anywhere else. And so are people worried about the cost? Because I think you're very reasonable. For, I don't know how you can do that for what you actually offer because you're talking about three three meals, you said? Three meals a day, huh, breakfast, that's lunch, and dinner. very unusual also for independent. But And then in living in the environment, that's a very wealthy environment. Yes. So tell us about, it's about the... The costs. I mean, you don't have to give us exact costs, but they vary depending on what kind of a, a home they choose. Correct. We have one bedrooms and two bedrooms. Um, and again, if it's independent or assisted living, the price for assisted is more expensive because of the care level you're getting. Um, but our independent apartments, our one bedrooms are 552 square feet approximately. And right now on a one-year lease, they start at 2350 amazing and, and I've always said that, everything yeah and you know actually Tina and you know this better than most people don't need big apartments why they need two bedrooms I, it's because in their brain they came from a home but we don't want them to spend time in their apartment anyway we want exactly. them to be out one bedroom is enough right correct yeah so that's why and I guess but as a marketing person you have to explain that to them yes Yes. <laughs> That's why. Yep. And we have model apartments we take and tour them. Usually it's a longer process than um, when you bought, maybe rented your first apartment when you were younger. They tend to come in, look at the community, and then we invite them back in to have lunch or dinner with us, um, sample the chef's food, meet some of the residents, do some of the activities, um, really immerse themselves as a visitor and see what life at Imperial Club is like. And I know what a good chef you have because I'm one of the judges for the Miss Senior Florida. I was there last time when they had it, and I'm set to go for this time too. And the food was gorgeous. And I said, "Is this special? No. This is what we feed. This is what our residents get." Yep. So you're getting fat there. <laughs> you don't look fat to me. <laughs> I eat lunch there every day. <laughs> but uh, but food is the most important thing. In fact, with my gerontology hat, I will tell you that we always knew that's what food was for because, like, at four o'clock people congregated right near the restaurant yes and that way they could tell what time it was because it's important just like our dogs I have a dog you have a dog and they know around five o'clock my dog starts barking there's nobody coming in there but we know he wants to eat right <laughs> same way so uh, have you found any romances going on there are always romances at these communities you can't give anybody I can't give any no details. no no but names yes. but there are always romances yes, because people are. Are, that's why they're going there. They're going there for companionship. Correct. And they, just, you know, it's funny. When my mother, many years ago, she lived in Fort Lauderdale in a community. And my mother was friendly, but she never really had a lady friend. Well, once she went there after the first week, she found a lady, and they, they would walk down the hall holding hands. Became best friends. Really? Yeah, it's I, true. I mean, that is such a beautiful thing for people. Because you as a daughter and your husband, you... Probably, I don't know if your mother and father are still alive, but they, but you care about them. You want something good, and they can't move into your home. It's not really good for either of them. They should really live in a place where they're still independent, right? Correct. And that they still have a say. And you said you have lots of activities. It sounds like that every day, in every way, you have something. That's correct. Every day there's something to do. But you're not. But you have an activities director. You're not in charge of that. You couldn't possibly be in yes. charge of that. We also, have a great activities director. Her name is Bambi. She has been there. Her name is Bambi. Years. Eleven years she's been there. She brings in the best, the top entertainers. I mean, you really, people would pay to see the entertainers she brings in. But people want that, so they can't get away. They don't have to go in a car and find them and pay the rates. It's all part of what they get for free. Yes. And and so let's say that somebody does start to have, let's say they have a hip operation. Mm -hmm. Now they still have their home there. Yes. And they may be in a rehab center for a month or so, and then they come back they to come their back. home. Yep. And I mean, once they rent this apartment, it's there for the, for the year, however long they rent it. Correct. And the other thing, I was just thinking about what I, I just said to you, that 
there are many places now that are life care. I want you to tell us the difference because, well, you see, let me share something that I found, that rental is a wonderful way to go because you don't have to make a decision. The life care communities, people have to plop a lot of money down and they don't really know if it's that, that what they want. But there are fewer and fewer rental communities with the kind of elegance and the kind of you know, superiority that you have. So you're really sitting, I think, in an excellent place. Correct. We are strictly a rental community. There is a rental community fee of $2,000 that you would pay, and then you would pay your monthly rent, and that's it. And it's a one-year lease, and you actually have a 60-day um, notice option if you, for any reason, want to get out of your lease. So if you're not happy, which we don't see many of those at Imperial Club, um, you have that option. If you're not putting down that big sum of money buying into a community like so many of the retirement communities these days. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's really great. Now, what about uh, people who do want, they have to go to doctor's appointments, they have to go, you know, besides going to all the activities, do they make an appointment to go? You drive them? How does that all work? Yeah, we have a van that um, we have a schedule that we give to the residents um, where it goes morning and afternoon shift. And if they have a specific time they want to go to a doctor's appointment, they just register with our concierge at the front desk and they'll be taken there, dropped off and picked up, as well as we go um, to the local, to the grocery stores, to the Walmart, Target, wherever. Um, once a week as well. That's why living in Aventura, they have everything. We I have love everything that place. in Aventura. It's such a great community. Yeah, and the Imperial, how many floors do you have in Imperial Club? We have 14 floors. So the views are pretty spectacular, aren't yes. they? Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you live in Aventura or not, but uh, Aventura is absolutely, it's like uh, what we call Boca Raton. There's a certain flair to it. Well, Aventura is like that. You have, you know, famous, you've had a lot of famous people living there in Correct. Aventura. And we won't talk about that, but I know that uh, when people have lived there in those beautiful high rises, when they first started building the high rises there, people thought, who's going to move here? I don't know Everybody. where you lived before, but I did. I told you I came from Miami. And up there in Aventura, who's going to live there and all those places? And now they're just filled. They're filled. And they're gorgeous. I mean, I've been in a lot of those condominiums. And that's probably where you're getting a lot of your residents, aren't you? Yes. Within about... 10 miles of our community is where a lot of the residents used to live. Well, a lot of the, uh, you see, our magazine goes into the Miami Herald, and so we know, and I'm always getting calls from people, and they're saying, well, I didn't get my, my, my um, magazine this month because, you know, we don't cover the whole thing. We don't have hundreds of thousands, but, but they, they read it, and they know, and these are very sophisticated people who call me. I mean, they're very, they're sharp. They love the magazine, and of course, um, you can see the Imperial Club ad in there. Anybody listening now, it's a beautiful ad. Now, that picture you have, is that a typical look of an apartment? That is a typical it's gorgeous. apartment. Brand new. We're going through an $8 million renovation right now, and we are renovating all the apartments, that as is... well as adding some new um, amenity space. So in your one-bedroom apartment, let's not even go to the two yet, but the one-bedroom, you. And I'm going to come there. I mean, when I'm there now for the... Miss Senior Florida. Can I then get a tour of the apartments? I'd Absolutely. like to do that because I'd like to know, talk about it. Are you having a full kitchen in a one bedroom apartment? No. Tell me what that so looks like. So it's a like. kitchenette, refrigerator, sink, counter space, um, cabinet space, but there are no stoves there. Good. Um, and that really Nobody is, wants to cook anymore nobody anyway. Nobody wants to cook, exactly. We have a beautiful dining room. We provide three meals a day and it encourages the residents to get out and socialize and be part of the community. Yeah, but you have everything they could, you mean they have a microwave, so if they want yeah. to do something. And what does your two bedroom consist of? Two bedrooms and two baths? Two bedrooms, one bath. Okay. And is that, now, how many people could live in that two bedroom? Would that be like two sisters or a husband and wife or more people? Um, that's usually how many people would move in, two or three. Now, are you finding that brothers and sisters are moving into a community like this? I would think it'd be a wonderful thing, wouldn't it? Yes. Yep, we find that. It's, it's brothers, sisters, husband and wives. And, and so when people do come, is it extra money for some for two people? So when they're renting an apartment, correct? It is. It is an extra fee for a, the second person. Right, but they don't pay electricity. They don't pay water. Electricity is actually an extra 
uh, pay fee that they would pay, but the rent does include light housekeeping. We'll clean the house once a week. We launder the towels and linens. We dust. And, and what about cable? Cable is included. Retirement TV is provided free. Okay, so, so they have the one fee, and then their electricity isn't going to be much because they're only in a small little... Correct. It's uh, very minimal. Very, very minimal. And this is the big question, since you and I are pet lovers. What about pets? We allow small pets. Oh, pets my goodness, you pets. do. Now, that's something we ought to talk about. We do. We love pets. See, now, that's, you know, years ago, that was unheard of, that they're, uh, a pet would be allowed. But you know, knowing how much you love your dog and I love mine, if you wanted to ask me to go to a retirement community and I couldn't take my pet, forget it. You wouldn't want to go. No. So, th so they can go, and I guess if they need some help with walking, you can provide that. We have, um, a, we have you can pr pay for a uh, dog walker to come and walk your pet for you, change the litter for you, whatever you need. We are partners in care with um, the Jewish Community Services, and they offer a lot of this assistance above and beyond what we offer if a resident would need it. Yes, I know. I've been to the Jewish Community Center down there. It's very big and very, very nice. And so you've joined uh, with that. With, so that brings up another point. How about religious services? Do you have that in your community? So we let's do. say Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. Well, Friday night we have Shabbat services. And and if but you don't. But the thing is, is that people now, if they're not getting into a car, a lot of times they just want to be there and they want it. Correct. right while they're having it. So exactly. You, you do have they that. They look forward to it. All right. Now, children are coming to visit. You know, grandchildren. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so now you have a two-bedroom apartment. Are you going to allow them to have their grandchildren stay with them over the weekend? Or how Absolutely. does that work? Absolutely. They can visit as a guest for up to 14 days. Really? Yeah. So, so yeah. there can be other people and they're not charged more for that? No. No. They would have to, they would have to pay uh, for their breakfast, Meals, lunch, and of dinner, course. But they can participate in the activities with their relative. They can join them in the dining room for any of their meals. They can hang at the apartment if they want to. That's exquisite because no you know they want they want to come down they, of course, and they want to be with them. It. Right, you do encourage it. And if they want to go on vacation, it's their apartment, they pay for it, they yeah. just leave. They just leave, they just let us know they're gonna be gone. A lot of our residents take cruises, things like that, vacations to go visit their kids. They just let us know that they'll be gone and we still clean their apartment for them and keep it tidy while they're gone. All right, it's about approximately how many residents are at Imperial Club when it's full? I mean, can, is it like 300? Is it up to that amount? Do you, could Probably you have 300? That. Probably about that. We have 214 apartments. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. That's what I was... So you have 214 apartments. So that's a lot. But when I go there, it never looks like it's overbuilt or too crowded. It's Maybe it's the design of the Imperial Point because you go in, you have this beautiful lobby, and it's like a big hotel. And there's so many activities going on and people going off campus to do other things. So, yeah, it never seems like it's it's that many people live there. So you said that you go and you do activities. So you do take them to the casino. You've taken them to Hard Rock. I don't personally. No, I though, know, but, but you know activity. they've gone to, act, to, oh, yeah. to Hard Rock. Every Friday is is an activity somewhere. Somewhere, and how do you fit them all in the bus? What do you have? We two? manage it. <laughs> so what if there's too many? Do you have two buses? Um, we would rent another <laughs> bus for transportation. You see now that's glorious because a lot of those people are used to going to the theater. You have a very nice theater down there also. It's the Aventura. The Playhouse. Yes, and I've been to It's on the water, and it's, it's superb. Yep, and we have the Art Center there as well. Yeah, I was thinking of that. Isn't that all part of yep. part of it? Yes, it's, it's a beautiful place to go there. And yeah. the Aventura Mall is right down the street. We actually have the free shuttle bus that stops in front of our community. That Let's talk take. about the Aventura Mall. <laughs> I don't know if you know this because I've, I've, I've had programs there. That of all the malls in the country, the Aventura Mall is the biggest revenue maker. I did not know that. Yeah, and they have, of course, you know, they have all the international people going there. That's Correct. it. They, 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 oh, yes, it's incredible, that mall. And so they must love, so what you do is you take them there, and then how did you know how to get them? I mean, they just tell you, oh, you tell them when the bus is going to come back. Yeah, we would tell them where the bus is going to come back. Or, like I said, we have the free shuttle, which is the Aventura free bus that stops at our community and it's I think every two hours 
does a big loop. So the Aventura Mall is one of the stops. Well, the one thing I don't want to forget to do is to talk about how people can get in touch with you. So I want to make sure that the number in your ad is correct, right? It's 305, and that's 521-7318. Seven two one nine. Seven two one nine. I had to put my glasses on. And that's I got so excited. And that's actually my direct line. Oh, this is your direct yeah. line. Okay, so now I can read it. I got my glasses on. Okay, three zero five five two one seven two one nine. Again, three zero five. Get your pencils out. Remember, this is Pencil Talk Radio. Three zero five five two one seven two one nine. And if you'd like to go on their website, it's imperial dash living dot com. It's a little hyphen. Imperial little hyphen living.com and you have a great website and people can really see what you're all about but the imperial point uh, so you show in your ad rent start at 2585 we actually not just possible. lowered that to 2350 with the two months free rent oh wait a minute so it's even better this is fabulous that so would you can't find an apartment to rent uh, without yeah. any of the services correct are you sure that yeah. You're sure, right? Sure. It's twenty three fifty. <laughs> Can't one believe bedroom, this. Including all the services. And for a limited time you'll pay a thousand dollars toward moving, moving costs. Cost. You still do that? Yep. Yeah. We're still offering that right now. I hope that your husband doesn't mind you're working twenty four hours a day, seven <laughs> days a week, because I would think lots of people are going to want to do that. You should be busy. You are going to fill that place up with it's wonderful to hear that. Because, you know, people are on budgets. And even if someone has extra money, they don't want to spend it all on their housing. And some of them want to get in just to try it. And that's an easy way to do it. Exactly. Because when you think of it, actually, and I just want to say this again, and, and my guest is Tina, Tina Borges Druth, Druth? Druth. Druth. Tina Borges Druth. And she's the marketing director over at Imperial Point. That people will go into a regular apartment and now they can almost hardly find a regular apartment for $2,500 with no food, no transportation, nothing, and they're all alone. See, that's the thing we haven't really right. dwelled on, and we should, the socialization. They're all so alone, important. locked in their apartment. Yep. And kids get busy. People think that they'll visit their parents once a day or their relative, and we all have busy lives. It's crazy. And a week, two goes by, and you realize you haven't even talked to them on the phone or visited them. How did you get into this? Uh, you just like older people? Why did, why I did do. you do this? I do. I love this? my residents. They're great. Yeah, because you have to. Yeah. You know, you have to really enjoy them, and they probably show love to you because you're there, and they you they probably think you're like their daughter. That's really what they feel, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, we're very close. And so, you know, that brings up another point that I'm hoping that you do encourage the families to come and visit. Unfortunately... A lot of them don't. A lot of them don't, yeah. Uh, so that's why they find friends there and why they, you know, build another Correct. life for themselves. Correct. But they um, usually understand how busy their kids yeah. are. And one question I'm sure they always ask, what happens if I get sick? And you, of course, will tell them about the Aventura Hospital. Hospital, yes. Which, which is, is first class. First and class. now you have Mount Sinai there. Yes. That's correct. And our residents um, have an option in the independent living to wear a pendant. That will call down to the front desk in an emergency. Um, and that's well, all part of it? That's all part of it, <laughs> correct. <laughs> Just keep loading us up there. Um, so they get a pendant when they come in. Yep, yep. It's, it's optional. They don't have to use it if they don't want to. They don't have to wear it. Um, but most of our residents decide that, that it's a good feature. And um, the assisted living residents also have a pendant. So what happens if someone is renting their apartment and now they need some assisted living? Do they have to give up their apartment or that can be tended to in that apartment? We would uh, transfer them because we keep the assisted living on certain floors so that the nurses can do their two hour checks on them. Um, so they would transfer apartments, but they wouldn't have to leave the community. So they wouldn't have to leave their friends and the socialization and what they built there. And is the assisted living, do they have a one bedroom there also, or it's smaller? Nope, one and two bedrooms as well. Same apartments, just different really? floors. Yep. Isn't that interesting? Because they probably don't need as much, but this way they don't feel like they're neglected or it's changed. Correct. All right, so assisted living, you have different levels? Uh, we do. And, and that's, tell us why that is. Uh, it depends on the care that the resident would need. 
Um, generally, it starts off slowly, and then sometimes it can progress that they need even more. They need somebody to uh, remind them to take their medication, or remind them to eat their meals, or remind them to take a shower. Just those little daily living activities that some older people start to forget to do. So you're dealing with some memory issues, yes. and that's why sometimes. you're very careful. And and do you have a medical doctor there on your premises in any capacity? Does he come or something? He does. Yes, we have a doctor. Right now he comes every other week. When we are finished with our expansion, we're hoping to have a physical therapist on campus full-time as well as a doctor. That's excellent because, you know, even if someone hasn't had a hip, um, hip fracture or something, at least that they can be getting extra help. Correct. Yep. And if they have, you know, they bump themselves and have a bruise that they don't like right. it, look, they can have somebody to talk to and take a look at it without having to go down to the hospital. So Tina, they know you, I know that. You know, Tina Borges for Druth, and you are certainly an excellent marketing director. I can see why you're happy there and why they're happy with you. It's called Imperial Club, folks. Imperial Club, you know the word Imperial. Ha. Huh. Uh, rents start at twenty five eighty five, but it's just been reduced, right? It's just been reduced, but I wanted them to see it. They have it in the ad. But we want them to know that it's down now to twenty three fifty. Twenty three fifty, and for a limited time, they will pay your thousand dollars toward moving costs, and you have everything you want. So let me give you that phone number one more time. It's three zero five five two one seven two one nine, and go on their website imperial living dot com. Thank you so much. Did I need something else? Thank you, and no. have them give me a call, and I would love to have them come in and do have a tour and join us for lunch or dinner one day. I, I love it, and I will see you there with the senior with, with our judging over there at the Miss Senior Florida. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Tina.